Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Today I'm going to do a little DIY project. I want to try to make, because the Moon Autumn, the Mid Autumn Festival is coming up, or the Moon Festival is coming up soon, I want to make a Phases of the Moon box together with everybody. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this box. I have a box here, but I think a shoe box would work better, but I don't have a shoe box. So I'm just going to take a box like this. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go and paint it black to start. So I'm going to go paint it right now. materials we're going to need to make the rest of it. It's not really that much. A pair of scissors, and in case the scissors are not good enough to cut through it, I also have an exacto knife, but I don't think I'll really be needing that. I'll tape. A styrofoam ball, just, to, just about the size of your hand, like the size of your palm, like this. Good enough and some wire to hang it in the box. Now, the first thing I'm actually gonna do is probably start working on this. So, I'm gonna open this up and take a look how much we need. I don't think we need too, too much. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the ball to the top, the top of the box here like this. So, it'll be hanging from the box. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut not a very big piece of wire here. I put it in. So I don't think I need too much. I'll grab more than I need, and then if I grab too much, I'll just cut it later. So I'm assuming, hoping scissors can cut this. Okay. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take it to make it nice and straight as straight as I can. Okay. And I'm going to take it and put it into my future moon. And it doesn't, we don't need it to go through all the way to the other end. That'll look kind of a, so see it's hanging nicely there. And now I'm going to take a look at my box. And it doesn't, I don't want it to be touching the bottom of the box, so leave it hanging a little bit. So it really doesn't need that much wire, I need only about this much. So I'm going to cut a little extra and just tape it to the top, top of the box. I don't really need that unnecessary. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put here how much I actually need. I really don't think it's too much. Maybe like this? Yes, I think that's about right. And what I'm going to do for me here, I have this little hole. So I'm going to actually run the wire through the hole. Like so. So it's just going to be like this. Now, not all of yours will have a hole, but if you want, you just punch a hole right through like like this, just punch a little hole through the cardboard. But I don't need to because I have this little hole there. I think that looks about perfect. So I'm just going to tape that into place. That's all it is. Don't, don't need anything more than just tape. Perfect. 
moon that hangs down like that from the top of my box. Uh, this extra part here, I think, ah, I might as well just add that too. I'm make it a little bit stronger. I'll just put a little extra tape. Because this part of the box is not going to show anyway. Just like that there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close up my box. So take this. Smarter way, smarter way will be on top, just like that. And my box can close up. There it is. There we go. So I got my box. Now, the next part is the most important part. So there are eight phases of the moon. So I'm going to need to have eight holes, plus one more hole for the uh, flashlight. So what it is, is it will be, there will be one hole right in the middle here, one hole over here, one hole over here, same on the other side, one hole over here, one hole over here, one hole over here, and then one hole here. And then on this side, I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. I need one hole to look through, and another hole probably next to it to put the flashlight in. Okay? So I'll figure out how to do all that now, and I'll start cutting bolts. sure about. I think I should make one up and one down. No, they should be next to each other. So I'll make one hole for my flashlight on the side a little bit. And the other hole should be right in the middle. Right. So I'll just make two, two, two holes. One up and one down. Okay, so I have all my holes here, so I can see the moon from different angles. Now, one of these holes, I'll put a flashlight in, and the other one, I'll use my eye to look inside. Now, what we need to do to make it, because now there's too much light going inside, but I looked in here, I can actually see, you know, see light. So what we do is we're going to make some flaps, or covers, to go over top of each of these. So then when we're using it, we just flip it upwards and that way it'll keep it dark inside so the only thing we will see is the flashlight's light so that is the next thing we're going to do so what i did now is i made some flaps that i used this black paper it's a little bit hard paper but the only problem is it's red on one side so i thought to myself but i want the black on the inside for sure to make the inside of the box darker but i was thinking what can i do to make it not look so weird, red on the outside. So what I did was I printed out some moons and I just glued them on here and I put the rest, the black side out and covered up the red. And I cut it out into the phases of the moon. So now what I'm doing is I'm just putting the 
moon phases on the right part of the box is. So what I do is my flashlight will go into this hole here. So when I look, this side will be the new moon because it will be the darkest. And then the two crescent moons will be the first one. So I just finished taping this on. All I did was take the moon and tape it onto the over the hole so that when I want to look at it, I just lift it up. And then go down, it's got the proper moon on it. I got one on this side too. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pictures of the moons on all the upper sides. So here we have it. This is our moon phases box. So we got here new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter moon, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third or last quarter moon, waning crescent moon, and then back to full or new moon. And what we do now is I have this hole here. This is where I'll take my flashlight and I'll take the flashlight and make it fit right in this hole here. Like that. And then turn it on. And I can look inside and I can see all the different phases of the moon. So I open the, let's see, the last quarter moon here. And I see it, and you can really see what the last quarter moon looks like. That's actually really cool. So it works really, really well. So what you guys, you guys can try this at home and see, see how it works out for you. And I'll take some pictures and show you what it looks like inside the box now. First there's a new moon, then waxing crescent. Next the first quarter, then waxing gibbous. Next comes the full moon, the waning gibbous. Last quarter, waning crescent last. So here's my finished product. I put a little picture on the top, a diagram to look at and look at all the moons and then we have all our moons and the hole for the flashlight and all the different moons on top of it so that's my moon festival phases of the moon project thanks for watching everybody see you next time